What's up guys, Justin here with DCGessentials.com back with another Blender add-on tutorial for you. So you might have remembered I had a video a couple weeks ago talking about the Spiderfy add-on, which allows you to add like spiders and bugs and other things as particle systems in Blender. I got a question today about that that I wanted to make sure that I answered about can those bugs actually interact with terrain that isn't flat? inside of Blender. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so I will link to my original video about Spiderfy, but basically what it is, is it's an add-on that makes setting up like bug systems in Blender really easy. And so what I wanna do is I wanna use the Spiderfy tab and I just wanna add, we'll go with the beetles again on this one. And we're just gonna add a system called so we're just gonna name this bugs and click on add bug system. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna give us our system, right, that our bugs are gonna come out of. So if I click on play, this is gonna start emitting those bugs right now. So a couple things real quick. First off, remember that we set this with a goal. So let's go ahead, let's set our goal over here for now. And we're gonna go ahead and change our bug settings so that they chase that goal more strongly. So we're just gonna go into the physics settings and remember under Boyd Brain, we just wanna set goal to be above separate so that they actually wanna chase the goal when we first click on play in our scene. So now, if we click on this, notice how those bugs are gonna run straight for our goal. But that was an excellent question before, which is do those bugs actually follow along with the terrain? Well, at the moment, they don't, they're just running through the terrain at the moment. But we can set the bugs to follow along with the terrain just by making a simple change. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this option right here, or our, I'm gonna click on our terrain right here. Well, notice how there's an option in here to give selected object collision properties. Basically, we're telling the Boyd Brain system that this is something that those uh, particles need to interact with. So we're just gonna click on that. And then we'll go back to zero and we'll click play. We'll notice how now these bugs are gonna follow along with our terrain right here. And so one thing you might've noticed about this system is these bugs kind of like jump around when they're coming across here, right? And so the reason for that is because when Blender does physics simulations, so something like these bugs, sometimes when things are small, they act really weird, right? Like it just kind of messes up the way that the collisions work. So the way that we can fix that is we can just come in here with our Boyd system, which we want to select, and then we want to scroll down to render, and we just want to bump the scale of our bugs up. So notice how when I bump the scale of my bugs up, they're not like flying around um, going up the hill anymore. And notice how if I was to make the scale smaller, they start acting even weirder, right? So if I bring those down to like 0.3, notice how they kind of like shoot off into the distance like this. So all this means is this means you just need to be aware that the scale of your bugs is going to affect the way that they act. As I make the bugs bigger, that's not going to be an issue anymore. So you can use this in order to make these follow along with the terrain. And then remember that you can take this system and within the Boyd Brain settings, you can set them to predict where the goal is gonna go. So what that does is that allows you to move the goal around, right? So if I move the goal over here, notice how the bugs are gonna follow along with that goal. So you could set this to make the bugs chase something or something like that. But now we have a system that allows us to simulate the bugs going up over a hill inside a blender. All right, so one other thing that you could do, because these are all coming out pretty uniform right now, what you could do is you could come back to zero and move this up and then scale this out so that your bugs are starting from a wider distance like this, right? So if I scale this out, and then I click play. Notice how these are going to get emitted from a wider area so that they're not coming from just that singular point right here. So all you do is you just take that object and you just scale it up. And I just scaled it on the X axis. Well, now I can drop those, uh, I can drop those bugs in like this. No problem. Then if you look at this, you get a lot more of like a wall of bugs coming over your hill like this. So they're all going to come in, but see how they're going to be wider like this.
So that's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what kind of tutorials you'd like to see with this add-on in the future. Um, I could do like custom collections or other things like that. So love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new Blender content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.